What's up guys? I'm John, owner and instructor here at Black Flag Dive Center, and today I'm here to talk to you about BCDs. Hopefully, by the end of this video, I will have cleared up some of the questions you may have, I will have given you some options to think about for the needs that you have as a diver. Now, there's basically three different schools of thoughts when it comes to BCDs, okay? We have a jacket style, which inflates both in the back and in the front. We have a rear inflating BCD, which only inflates in the rear. And we have the back plate and wing combo. First BCD I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is the Scuba Pro Hydros X. This particular BCD is really well made. It's made of materials that dry really quickly and don't degrade very quickly, which is great as an investment. Now the advantages of this particular BCD is going to be the fact that the material dries really quickly. It's got these big pockets in the front. It has an integrated weight system and it inflates all the way around. So when you're on the surface waiting on the boat to pick you up, you can inflate your BCD and lay back and relax. The second school of thought on BCDs is the rear inflating BCD. This one is the Hydros Pro by Scuba Pro. It only inflates in the rear, which means it's going to give you a horizontal position in the water, which is what most of us are shooting for when we're diving. The advantages of this one are again, the quick drying material, the really well made craftsmanship and the fact that the shoulder straps and the other components aren't going to degrade quickly over time. The third school of thought is the back plate and wing design. Now, this BCD is mine, which is why you see all of this dangly stuff everywhere. Now, the reason that I've chosen this one is because it's modular in design, which means that you can take it apart and put different components back on it, depending on your needs, which is great because it can grow with you as a diver. An advantage of this is the fact that the back plate itself has negative buoyancy characteristics, which means that it's heavy in the water. Now, that's advantageous as a diver because it means that you can put less weight in your weight pockets. Another advantage to this one is going to be the fact that you can change out the wings for different sizes. You can put a set of doubles on it. You can even clip a pony bottle here and here which gives you lots of room to put lots of different configurations together. Or if a piece ever goes bad, it's easily replaceable. Another advantage to this one is the crotch strap. And I know that you guys out there are sitting there thinking to yourself, why would I want that? Well, the truth is it holds it all together. And what's great about it is it comes usually with a couple of D rings that you can either hang an SMB on, which is what I use it for, or if you have a DPV or an underwater scooter, you would use the D-ring in the front to clip to it and use it to have you pull you along. Now, I see a lot of recreational divers out there with a style like this one because it's comfortable. Usually it's what they've trained in and they really like it. I would say that I see the majority of divers, however, using a rear inflating BCD but that's a matter of preference. Here's what I would encourage all of you to do before you go out and spend a ton of money on a BCD. Number one, make sure it's something that you're gonna grow into and not out of. Number two, try it first. Tons of dive shops out there are doing what we call demo days, where if you wanna try a piece of gear, all you have to do is show up to the pool and we'll have it ready for you. We'll let you try it out before you drop a bunch of money on something that hopefully is going to last you the rest of your life. An advantage of owning your own gear is knowing how it works, knowing that it's been serviced. Sometimes renting gear makes that a little bit more difficult because you could rent from six different dive shops and receive six different BCD and regulator combos. Me personally, I take my own personal gear everywhere because I know for a fact how it works and that it's going to work. The last point that I'd like to make is remember, buy local. Buy from the dive shop that did your instruction for you because you probably vetted those scuba instructors. 
You can buy scuba anywhere. But what you did was you picked a dive shop that you felt like you could trust them with your life. The things that keeps the lights on in a dive shop is going to be stuff like this. You, as the diver, continuing to support your local dive shop and bringing the money back to them versus going to another shop or buying online. I hope that this video cleared up any questions that you have. As always, you can reach out to us with any other questions you may have or sign up for a demo day. We'd love to have you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.